एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल आज का जो हमारा टॉपिक है वो है नॉम एंड क्लेचर ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स मीन्स दैट हाउ वी कैन नेम एन ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड सो जनरली देर आर द टू सिस्टम ऑफ नॉम एंड क्लेचर्स आर यूज फॉर द नेमिंग ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड द फर्स्ट वन इज़ द ट्राइवियल और द कॉमन सिस्टम एंड द सेकेंड वन इज़ द आई यू पी ए सी सिस्टम सो इन द ट्राइवियल और द कॉमन सिस्टम एज इन द अर्ली स्टेज ऑफ द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री organic compounds were named after the source from which they were first isolated so in the system of nomenclature the compounds were named on the basis of the source from which they were obtained for example urea got its name since the compound was first obtained from the urine of mammals methyl alcohol was called wood spirit since it could be obtained by the destructive distillation of wood Acetic acid got its name from acetum. Acetum is a Latin word which means vinegar, as it is present in the vinegar. Citric acid is named so because it is found in the citrus fruits. So here are the certain common name for some of the organic compounds. For example, if we have the molecular formula CS three twice CO that is called as acetone. If we have C six H five N H two that is called as aniline, C six H five C O O H this is known as benzoic acid. So these are the certain molecular formula, and the common name for these of the organic compounds are given as. So this system of nomenclature have the certain drawbacks, and it cannot be used to name all of the organic compounds. So we have the another system of nomenclature that is known as the. IUPAC system of nomenclature as we know that uh, the carbon have the unique property of the catenation means that it has the tendency to combine with the another carbon atom to form a long chain or may have a um, chain with the branches and it also shows the property of isomerism means that having the same molecular formula but different arrangement of atoms are there so due to these properties carbon can form a large number of organic compounds so it becomes very difficult to remember all these organic compounds by their common names so in order to systemize the nomenclature of organic compound the iupac system of nomenclature was first introduced in 1947 the full form of iupac system of nomenclature is the international union of pure and applied chemistry so there are the certain rules in the system of nomenclature for the naming of the organic compound as uh, this system of nomenclature is the most rational and the widely used system of nomenclature in organic chemistry one of the most important feature of this system is that if we have an iupac name so it can give only one molecular structure and if we have a molecular structure so it can have only one iupac so the iupac name of any organic compound essentially consist of the three parts the first one is the word root the second one is the suffix and the third one is the prefix so first of all we will discuss about the word root word root it is the basic unit of the name it denotes the number of carbon atoms present in the parent chain parent chain is the longest continuous chain of the carbon atom including the functional group and the multiple bonds that are present in the organic molecule so if we have only one carbon atom in a chain so the word root for this is the meth if we have the two carbon atom the word root is eth if we have the three carbon atom the word root is prop if we have four then the word root becomes but if we have five then the word root is used as pent if we have six hex and so on for the seven we use hept for the eight we use oct for the nine we use non and for the 10 we use dec and for 11 we use undec and for 12 we use the do dec so here the extra a is used in the parenthesis this extra a in the parenthesis is used only if the primary suffix to be added to the word root begins with a consonant which we will discuss later so the second 
point which we have to use in order to naming of the organic compound that is the suffix so there are the two types of suffix first one is the primary suffix primary suffix is always added to the word root to indicate that whether the carbon chain is saturated or unsaturated the meaning of saturated means the carbon chain that consists of only on the single bond and the unsaturated means the carbon chain in which have the double or the triple bonds is present in addition to the single bond so if we have a saturated chain of carbon atom so the primary suffix is used as a a and e if we have a unsaturated carbon chain in which only double bond is present so the word uh, the primary suffix is e and the unsaturated chain with the triple bond the primary suffix used is the y and e if in the parent chain we have the 2 3 4 or more double or triple bonds are present then the numerical prefix such as di for 2 if we have three double bonds are there we can use the tri and if we have four the tetra words are used uh, and they are added to the primary suffix for example we are considering here some examples like we have this organic compound so in this organic compound there are the four carbon atoms in the main chain 1 2 3 4 so the word root become but and it consists of only the single bonds so the primary suffix is a and e so the name of this compound become but a butane in the next compound we have a double bond is present so first of all we uh, name the word root as it consists of only the three carbon atoms so the word root become prop and it consists of a double bond so the primary suffix is e and e so the name will become propene in the next compound we have the chain of two carbon atoms so the word root become eth and there is a triple bond is present so we use the primary suffix y and e so the name will become ethyl in this compound we have the two double bonds are there so uh, it consists of the four carbon atom so the word root become but a as uh, uh, we have studied earlier this a is used if the the primary suffix start with a consonant so we use this a so therefore the overall name of the organic compound becomes buta di e Uh, and now we have the secondary suffix secondary suffix kya hota hai which is added to the primary suffix to indicate the nature of functional group present in the organic compound so if we have we have the different classes of organic compounds and uh, on the basis of these we have the different functional groups so for different functional groups we have the different secondary suffixes are there for example if we have alcohol functional group is present in a molecule uh, so the secondary suffix used is ol if we have aldehyde so secondary suffix is al for the ketones we use one for the carboxylic acid we use oic acid for amides we use amide for acid chloride we use oil chloride for ester we use alkyl oate for the nitriles we use nitrile for thiol we use thiol for amines we use amine as a secondary suffix when we are adding the secondary suffix to the primary suffix the terminal e of the primary suffix is dropped if the secondary suffix begins with a vowel बट इट इज़ रिटेन्ड इफ़ द सेकेंडरी सफिक्स बिगिनस विद ए कॉन्सोनेंट इसका मतलब क्या है कि जब हम सेकेंडरी सफिक्स को एड कर रहे हैं प्राइमरी सफिक्स के अंदर अगर हमारा सेकेंडरी सफिक्स वोवल से शुरू हो रहा है तो जो टर्मिनल ई है प्राइमरी सफिक्स की प्राइमरी सफिक्स क्या थे हमारे ए एन ई ई एन ई वाई एन ई सो दैट ई इज ड्रॉप्ड बट इफ द सेकेंडरी सफिक्स स्टार्ट विद द कॉन्सोनेंट दैट ई इज रिटेन्ड फॉर एग्जाम्पल we have this organic compound so in this chain there is only two carbon atom so we use the word eth and it is a chain of saturated chain of carbon atom so we use the primary suffix a and e 
now the oh is the functional group is there so therefore secondary suffix is ol here the secondary suffix is started with a vowel so this e is dropped so the final name will become ethanol in the second example we have the amine as a functional group so the secondary suffix will become amine and now the full name of this molecule is the propane amine similarly in the next example we have a chain of four carbon atoms so we use the word but and it is a chain of saturated carbon atoms so we use the word a and me and uh, the functional group is the cooh that is the carboxylic acid for which the secondary suffix is oic acid so therefore the name of this compound become butanoic acid now the third one is the prefix that is used in the naming of the organic compounds so the prefix are also of two types the first one is the primary prefix primary prefix it is generally used to distinguish this cyclic compound from the acyclic compounds so if we have a cyclic compound so we use the word cyclo before the word root for example we have this compound in this compound we have a cyclic system so we use the word primary prefix cyclo it is a chain of five carbon atom so use the word pent and it is a chain of saturated carbon atom so the primary suffix is a and e so overall name become cyclopentane if the cyclo word is not used it means that the compound is a cyclic or the open chain compound now we have the secondary prefix in the iupac system of nomenclature certain groups are not considered as the functional group but instead they are treated as a substituents so these are called the secondary prefix and they are added immediately before the word root in alphabetical order to denote the side chain or the substituents so uh, if we have the fluorine is present in the organic compound so we use the secondary prefix fluoro for chlorine we use chloro for bromine we use bromo for iodine we use iodo for no2 we use nitro for no we use nitro so for n plus triple bond n that is the secondary prefix for this is diazo if we have or group this is called alkoxy if we have och3 that is called methoxy if we have och5 that is called ethoxy if we have ch3 that is called methyl if we have c ch3 thrice the secondary prefix for that is tert butyl if we have ch ch3 twice the secondary prefix for that is isopropyl if we have ch2 ch2 ch3 that is a normal chain of three carbon atoms so prefix used is the n propyl so therefore the naming complete iupac name of an organic compound consists of the following parts first secondary prefix plus primary prefix then we have the word root then we have primary suffix and then we have the secondary suffix so this system of nomenclature is used for the naming of organic compound so in the next video we are using these rules for the naming of the organic compounds so hum next video mein hum bahut sare examples karenge jahan pe hum in rules ko apply karke naming karenge organic compounds ki thank you